before 2001, if lightning would strike on a golf course, the surge would travel through the ground, it would be induced into the irrigation wires, travel down the wires at various speeds and directions until dissipated, and if the surge was big enough, solenoids would be damaged and need to be replaced. After 2001, when lightning would strike on a golf course and the surge travel through the ground and be induced into the irrigation wires, it would then travel down the wires at various speeds and directions, but no damage would be sustained by the solenoids and the sprinklers would continue to operate. What happened in 2001? Toro was the first to take technology for satellite control systems and incorporate them into sprinkler heads. The Toro Spike Guard Solenoid. It's a feature that is still unmatched by our competitors eight years later. How do we stack up against our competition? First, there's a parallel surge test. This is when you combine both solenoid wires and send a surge so that the solenoid is hit with an equal surge on each wire. With the Toro standard solenoid, the Toro spike guard, and the leading competitor solenoid, they all pass a 20,000 volt parallel surge test. They all pass. But wait. There is a second test. This is a series surge test where you separate the solenoid wires and send a surge down one of the solenoid wires to the ground on the other side of the solenoid. Toro's standard solenoid can handle 10,000. The spike guard can handle 10,000. But our leading competitors cannot. When we up the voltage to 20,000, the Toro standard drops out the leading competitors is still out and only the Toro spike guard solenoid passes the test. Matter of fact, we had to drop the test to 7,000 volts for our competitors solenoid to pass. Toro has the only 20,000 volt surge approved solenoid on the market. We passed the second test. But wait, has our competition even mentioned there is a second test? This message is brought to you by a company who wants to do business with you for all the right reasons. Turf Equipment and Supply.